Hello, we're here today to talk about DynamoDB, scaling partitions, hotkeys, and throttling. My name is John, and I'm a senior solutions architect who's a specialist in DynamoDB. As a specialist solutions architect, I get to talk with customers in all sorts of industries and help them design solutions on DynamoDB and work through any challenges they encounter. Throttling tends to be a common conversation with some of those customers. Throttling is what happens when you make a request to DynamoDB, but Dynamo doesn't have the capacity to fulfill that request at the time. Reasons for throttling are often poorly understood. Why would a service like Dynamo that's capable of basically infinite scale throttle? I think to understand throttling, it's first helpful to understand how DynamoDB scales. Let's talk about that first. If you imagine scaling a traditional relational database, you'd add additional resources, CPU, memory, disk, to that database as your needs increase. Eventually, you hit a wall though. You can't add any more resources. At that point, you have to start thinking about sharding or partitioning that database into multiple databases. Move a portion of your data to one, a portion of your data to the other. DynamoDB takes that idea and runs with it. We take the idea of partitioning and build it into the database and into the data model. Every item that you write to DynamoDB requires a partition key, and that's the key that we use to decide where data gets split into the different partitions in the background. DynamoDB does a great job of balancing load between those partitions, and most of the time you don't really need to be concerned about how many partitions are in your table or how data is distributed. Each of those partitions provides a finite amount of capacity, and DynamoDB handles adding partitions and moving data where necessary to distribute load and to scale your table. So with that little bit of background, let's talk about the two places that you could get throttled when you make a request to DynamoDB. As you make a request, it comes into a request router. That's the front end fleet that does things like get table metadata, handle authentication and authorization, and pass requests on to storage nodes for persistence. Before they route your request to the storage nodes, they check the capacity that's available for your whole table. This is the number of read and write capacity units that your table was provisioned with, assuming you're running in provision mode. If the table has enough capacity, that request is gonna move along the path. If it doesn't, we'll check the burst bucket. We store the unused capacity from the previous five minutes, which can be used to temporarily go above the capacity your table was provisioned for. And if there's credits there, great, we'll move on. But if both are empty, that's where you'd get throttled at the table level. If you're throttled at the table level, it means that your table level capacity planning wasn't quite right. Your auto scaling configuration for provision capacity isn't set how it should be. You may need to have a higher minimum or a lower target utilization so that you can scale faster to handle changing requirements. It also may mean that your workload is spiky enough that on-demand might be a better fit. On-demand mode helps solve table level throttling in most cases because it removes the need to scale up and down with auto scaling. It handles capacity changes very quickly. Let's assume though that everything works out at the table level and we move on to storing data at the partition. This is the other place where you could potentially be throttled. Every partition in DynamoDB can handle 1,000 WCUs and 3,000 RCUs of capacity. So if that partition is receiving more than that level of traffic, it could also be throttled at the partition level. The solution for these two different types of throttling is quite different. This is an area that I see customers struggle with fairly regularly if they experience throttling. They switch to on-demand, their table capacity scales up, and it doesn't seem to fix the issue. Partition level throttling is a data modeling issue. If too much throughput is going to a single partition, it can get throttled and adding capacity to your table or switching to on-demand mode isn't gonna help. Partition level throttling happens because of low cardinality in your partition key. If all your data is going to a small number of keys, DynamoDB isn't able to distribute it across partitions. If throttling's on reads, adding caching through DAX might be a good solution. If throttling is on writes, one solution could be changing your data model and choosing a different partition key. That's not always possible though, so other approaches might be necessary. Are your writes spiky? Introducing a queue to smooth them out might help. Do you need consistently high throughput? Consider write sharding your data and adding random integers to your partition keys. Write sharding is a bigger topic that probably deserves its own video. Now, which kind of throttling are you experiencing? How can you figure that out? Check CloudWatch metrics. If your consumed capacity regularly goes over your provision capacity, it's likely causing you table level throttling. Enable CloudWatch Contributor Insights for DynamoDB. That will allow you to see how your traffic is distributed across your keys and where you might be experiencing hotkeys that trigger partition level throttling. With better understanding of the types of throttling you might encounter with DynamoDB, you'll know the right strategies to resolve them. My name is John Trahune, and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect Specialist for DynamoDB. 
Thanks for watching and see you next time.